January 5th, 2016. This Suki Terrier has the eyelids stitched up for the last 10 days. What is the reason for it? So you continue. My assistant will continue the story. Okay. So this is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Here we have a 14-year-old male Silky Terrier. On 27 December 2015, 10 days ago, the owner came to Topayo Vets for a second opinion. His dog had a deep corneal ulcer in the right eye. On 27 November 2015, his vet had treated it one month ago, but the ulcer did not heal. His dog kept rubbing his right eye against the wall in the bed. The dog wore an e-collar, but he continued rubbing his eyes, deepening the ulcer. This condition is called deep ulcerative keratitis. His vet advised enucleation, which is the surgical removal of the eyeball. The owner inquired about alternative solution to save the eye. The eye had no intraocular infection. Therefore, the vet at Topayo Vets proposed tarsorophy with third eyelid flap, and this has been done. Okay. Now um, we will show. Not put bone inside. We will show the surgical techniques. Okay, ready. So I've drawn an illustration to show. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go go go. So I've drawn an illustration to show the procedure. First, the suture goes through the stint and through the top eyelid and to the third eyelid and down the bottom eyelid. On the second, second drawing, we can see that the suture goes through the bottom stint and in the third picture, we can see that it goes back through the third eyelid and up through the top eyelid and through the top stint. The fourth picture, we can see that um, the suture is being tightened up and in the fifth picture the eyelid is securely closed. Okay. So the eye remains closed for the next 10 to 14 days to allow the ulcer to heal mm. without irritation from dust, wind and sunlight. Antibiotic eye drops and painkillers are given in patient for 10 to 14 days. Mm. So today is the 10th day and we will remove the stitch and uh, clean up the eyes and then the dog goes home. So we have to wait. Yeah. Hey, come. We go, go in already. No, don't know yet. Wait, wait, wait outside. Wait outside. Okay, okay. Come go, go in. Uh. Anesthesia. Okay? That's surgery room. Huh? Okay. So we give a bit of gas so that we can remove the stitch without the dog feeling the pain. And uh, this is 5%. Normally just a shot. Maybe five minutes will do. Just check the the dog's uh, is uh, sleeping and take out the stitches and the stint. So get ready to help take your book. Get ready to help now. Your book don't want really. Just get ready. Uh, put down the hold the dog. Not much yet, but once. So it's a five percent isoforin plus. Oxygen and it is here. Then once the dog is down, we turn to the side here. Yeah. Then the intern will help to. Here can tissue. Mm. Mm. They help to. Uh, okay, I need the dog fall further back a bit. There is some gas there. Further back a bit so that she can help you. Yeah. Okay. So is it down yet? Mm -hmm. Watch it now. We see the, the suture is still holding very well, but of course it's opening up. This is the 10 day. And now it's, we go back to 3%. And uh, I would say it's okay ready to come and hold the hole for the, my assistant to cut the stitches. Yeah. Take the, okay, cut the stint. It's a, it's a horizontal, horizontal mattress switcher. He needs to cut only certain parts and then he will get can the thing can be top, the below part. Yeah. Below the stint uh, taken out already. 
So I clean up the eyes, put eye drops and saline. Now we see the ulcer. Mm. You can see, okay, open up the eyelids, we'll see how it looks like now. The dog is under gas so that it doesn't feel the pain. Okay, so now open now. Okay, open open all until towards the camera, yeah. Ready? Oh, let me focus on it. So you see the deep ulcer is healing, there's the the blood vessels surrounding it. And there's no more hole. When you see the original, original uh, image, you see the hole there, but not the scar tissue there, the white tissue. On. So put the eye ointment, clean up the eyes, clean already. Clean up now. Uh. Mm. Especially anything inside, all the, the everything. Okay. We open the eye, uh, eyelids again. Let me have another look at the central, the deep ulcer. Yeah. Or open the eyelids. Bigger, uh, up, up some more. Let's see. So you can see that uh, the ulcer has been uh, covered by this yellowish white uh, scar tissues, and uh, the dog will go home, and the owner will just look after it wearing the e-collar and not letting the dog run around then the painkillers for this on for this off and eye drops every day antibiotics again let me take a photo of it close up there no the owner is outside ask him to come in now all finished here right clean up everything Push further back a bit so that the owner can see. Okay. You can only guess. I mean. you need to wear the e collar though. Mm. Dog was. Mm. He's not outside. He's somewhere behind. I mean, see, is he behind? Or across the car park? It'll be stolen, yeah. Put eye drops. And the eye almond also. Then we put eye almond also. Yeah, eye almond lasts longer than that one one tube. Yeah. Hmm. Eye almond was well longer protection. Yeah. And then painkillers for four days on, four days off. Okay, open the eye again. Let me see. You can see that uh, the ring of uh, vascular ring of blood vessels bringing the cells to heal up the cornea. Yeah. Okay, let me let me take a close up later. Yeah.